The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Economy Develop a prosperous and diversified economy to reduce the country's dependence on oil export revenues. The Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition, one of the most important monuments and landmarks not only at the level of the Kuwait Oil Company, but also in Kuwait in general. The exhibition recognizes the important historical role Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah played in shaping modern Kuwait. The Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition is named after Kuwait's 10th ruler. The exhibition serves to answer any questions to the public may have about oil and gas and the important functions they play in our modern lives. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition opened on the 17th of October 2016, which is located at the entrance of Ahmadi. The completion percentage of the Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition is 100%. The Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition encompasses a total area larger than 60,000 square meters. The center holds exquisite displays and exhibits to make it one of the jewels in the region's crown. A key aim of the exhibition is to encourage young people to explore careers in the oil industry. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition includes the latest technologies. The Sheikh Ahmed Al Jabr Oil and Gas Exhibition serves a broader segment of the community, particularly students and researchers. The government has launched a new long-term development plan of New Kuwait Vision 2035. The launch of New Kuwait Vision 2035 represents a second attempt by the government to transform Kuwait into a regional financial and commercial hub for the Northern Gulf. Here from New Kuwait government account, completion of 97.2% of the Jabir Bridge project, Doha Link. Abdallah Salim Culture Center wins award for best engineering projects in the Middle East and North Africa. The city of South Subah Al Ahmed of the modern and upgraded projects in Kuwait. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development plan, please visit the website on the screen. The Fine Art Gallery was launched in the Ahmed Al Adwani Hall, where the artist explained to the visitors the deep meaning of the art pieces that was presented in the expo. Jinan also mentioned that her inspiration came from her feelings and emotions during the period that she decided to draw the pieces. Here's more with this report. Uh, this is my second exhibition. Uh, the first exhibition was in uh, 2012 uh, and uh, today in uh, 2 December, today is my birthday and uh, this is the second uh, my exhibition uh, and I have uh, 28 paintings. Uh, all uh, my painting, uh, the abstract uh, uh, styles. I paint what I feel, what I uh, have uh, stayed to in my life. Uh, and you know, all my painting, it is uh, abstract styles. Uh, so you can see the women, uh, what the women feel in all paint. Jinan won a few awards for her fine artwork and she was a previous member of the Fine Arts Committee and she has participated in various art galleries with the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters. The exhibition of uh, Jinan Khusro, it is, uh, uh, it's called My Life and uh, uh, she just wants to show how she developed, how she became a better artist. She's one of the young promising artists ladies artist and uh, her work uh, every time I visit her exhibition I saw uh, it is better better uh, at, as an artwork and uh, performance and also the subject uh, it is uh, uh, have some romance in it and some 
thought and uh, the color is beautiful and c composition also. Uh, I am as an artist, I think uh, uh, she, is, she, will, she will do better in the future and she will grow up uh, because uh, she is full of challenge and uh, she trying uh, very hard to prove her place between the Kuwaiti artists, ladies. As well as galleries abroad, the artist also worked as a trainer for emerging artists for children and instructed workshops for fine arts.